Mediterranean is one of the dangers of the alpine forest environment. Unlike the Mediterranean regions, alpine forest fires often occur between winter and the beginning of spring, when rainfall is poor and fuel is abundantly available. During the summer months, instead, fires spread easily in times of drought. In both seasons, the wind contributes to the development of fire. The Alps and the Alpine forests are a tremendous natural heritage, a wonderful ecosystem that combines animal and plant life, above and below the ground, in a perfect natural balance. Imposing and majestic, the Alps inspired poets and writers. But the Alps are also very fragile. They are highly vulnerable to fires and show little resilience to it. The delicate and precious mountain and forest ecosystem is threatened by climate change and human footprint. Nearly 7,000 hectares of forests are devastated by fire every year, which is the equivalent of 8,500 football courts. Slope, exposure, altitude and composition of woodland may determine the fire rate of spread. In surface fires, the fire advances more rapidly, but fire crowns are those that cause the greatest damage. Often these fires have a devastating impact. The most favorable conditions to the start of forest fires often occur when there is a thick ground cover made up of dead dry matter with a young topsoil and resin-rich wood. Among the alpine forests, Pinus sylvestris forests are the most vulnerable to fire. By retaining land with their roots, forests mitigate the power of rain. Where there are no trees, water and wind erosion is considerably higher, favoring the occurrence of landslides. These can cause serious disasters with loss of lives. In addition to climate change, which brings about high temperatures, strong winds and an increase in drought, other factors contribute to making the alpine environment more fragile with respect to the phenomenon of fire. As mountain depopulation advances, land is left unfarmed and forests regain space, occupying abandoned agricultural areas. Unfarmed land is a threat to existing forests, because their fire potential is high and fire can spread very fast. Fires are often caused by human negligence or willful misconduct in agricultural activities for the renewal of pasture or due to incorrect behavior during recreational and tourist activities, such as lighting fires or discarded cigarette butts. Pyromania and crime do the rest. Natural fires in the alpine environment are very rare and mostly occur as a result of lightning sparks that set fire to wood or the litter. The phenomenon of fire and its detrimental effects affect the forest in all its functions by damaging the wood, the hydrological defense, the air quality and tourism. Forests cover about 40% of the Alps and their extension is increasing. This is mainly due to progressive depopulation and man abandonment of mountain settlements. In time, the presence of man has influenced the forest landscape, which has been modeled by human activities. In Europe, 70% of forests are semi-natural forests and are the result of centuries of human management. Pristine forests, still untouched by men, can be found in remote and inaccessible areas in the eastern part of the European continent and in some parts of Russia. Alpine forests are mainly located on mountain slopes where they still cover large areas characterized by a pristine environment. In the Alps, the majority of riparian forests located along the rivers were strongly reduced due to the development of infrastructures and the regulation of water courses. Forests protect the land from hydrological instability and atmospheric pollution and mitigate the phenomena related to climate change, which threaten the forests themselves. Forests also provide a lot of raw materials, from wood to fruits and much more. Alpine 
rainforests play a key role in the social and economic development of the surrounding regions. Wood is again used as a construction material, and wood biomass is a source of renewable energy, contributing to energy sustainability. The wood production chain promotes the use of wood as a renewable raw material. Next to the wood production chain, there is an environmental chain, not strictly associated to the wood production functions. Forests, in fact, store considerable quantities of carbon and contribute to reducing the greenhouse effect. The Alps are also undoubtedly a very important and popular tourist destination. The forests and the mountains promote the image of tourism associated with psychophysical well-being and outdoor healthy activities offer a strong appeal. This determines a considerable increase in mass mobility and human presence in the forests and the mountains. To local communities, tourism is an economic opportunity, ranging from ski resorts, climbing, bike paths or relaxing walks in contact with nature. The Alps are a tremendous source of biodiversity. About 4,500 plant species and about 30,000 animal species live in this area. This is why it is very important to protect and enhance the forest's genetic resources through sustainable forest management policies. It is precisely their genetic diversity that guarantees their survival and adaptation to climate change. Some recent studies have shown future climate scenarios even more favorable to the development of forest fires, which would make forest ecosystems increasingly vulnerable. This chart shows the temperature increase expected for the 2041-2050 decade compared to the 1991-2000 decade. This other chart shows the change in precipitation for the 2041-2050 decade compared to the 1991-2000 decade, depicting an increase in precipitation north of the Alps in blue and a decrease south of the Alps in red. The combined effect of changes in precipitation and temperature will increase the potential for a fire, red, up to 70%, especially in the Alps. In order to prevent and mitigate the effects of these changes, specific adaptation strategies, resources and joint efforts are required. Extinguishing a fire is not easy. A good part of the success depends on the prevention work done in the area before the fire occurs. First of all, the forest must be kept clean to prevent the fire from finding the fuel necessary to grow. Preventive silvicultural activities are necessary such as thinning, grazing, road barriers, topping and elimination of bushes and shrubs. Prescribed fire is an environmentally friendly prevention technique. It consists in reducing the biomass through the controlled application of fire. Prescribed fire can be safely conducted only by specialized personnel. In fire prevention, the ability to predict the degree of danger is very important. Through an analysis of weather conditions and those of watercourses and basins, it is possible to identify critical situations and therefore to take all necessary preventive and suppression measures in order to detect fire outbreaks and intervene as quickly as possible. In recent years, the need has arisen to strengthen monitoring and implement information systems in the prevention and fight of fires in the Alpine region. For this purpose, specific recommendations were made in in order to foster knowledge and awareness on the theme of forest fires, including beyond the regional and national borders, within a framework of international cooperation. The Alp Fires project, Alpine Forest Fire Warning System, includes the development of a forest fire alert system, a shared strategy for the Alps, including the coordination of alerting procedures and deployment of means, through multidisciplinary cooperation between researchers, the civil protection and decision makers. The project is promoted by 15 entities located in Slovenia, Austria, Germany, Italy, Switzerland and France. Through the cooperation between the Alpine member states, it is possible to provide these regions with a uniform level of protection against fires. One of the outcomes of the Alp Fires project was the definition of a single fire danger scale linked to weather conditions. This danger scale, which is shared on an international level, provides for a single interpretation of danger conditions leading to improved emergency actions and more effective operating procedures.
eh, simuliamo un intervento con una prima partenza che è data da un equipaggio formato normalmente da due squadre. Noi lavoriamo molto sul territorio con l'abbinamento di un paio di mezzi, magari anche di squadre diverse. Per cui i primi due mezzi che arriveranno serviranno a contenere eh, le fiamme che si stanno propagando. Firefighting activities are carried out by highly trained personnel equipped with land and air vehicles. The days dedicated to joint interregional and transnational exercises provide an opportunity for exchanging experiences and for demonstrating the strategies and methods used in forest firefighting by the operators involved in the various countries. Practical demonstrations are carried out with exercise aimed at training operators in team efforts and in improving the effectiveness of joint actions. These activities underpin mutual aid protocols in case of fire in the border regions. In order to tackle a fire, specific equipment is required as well as very efficient coordination. Local forest fire crews are equipped with small modular systems suitable for a first intervention on initial fire outbreaks. The first local group makes first attack to fire. A good start is essential. Where the situation is very serious, the director of suppression operations requests the support of other staff and of aircrafts for the launch of water and retardants. Sometimes using the helicopter becomes necessary and supports the firefighting activities on the ground. Other equipment such as portable tanks, helitag modular systems or belly tanks allow for an optimal use of helicopter and aircrafts. Water is the most important and least expensive resource for suppressing fire. Water lowers the temperature below combustion level, reducing heat. As an alternative to water, chemical retardants reduce combustion, thus extinguishing the fire. The fire brigades, including the volunteer personnel involved in firefighting, provide a significant contribution. These crews are called into play, especially when fires threaten houses or other critical infrastructures. Prevention is therefore the most effective way to win the battle against fire and against the destruction of forest ecosystems. This phenomenon can be fought through environmental education and people awareness, especially of children and young people who shall inherit the forests we leave them.